Two of the following videos are true while the other one is trash. Can you spot the fake? Let's begin. These two alkaline AA batteries look identical, but one of them is dead and the other is full. I know this because when you drop the dead battery, it is much bouncier than if I drop the full battery. Here I have a laser pointer aimed straight at the hole of a 2 liter soda bottle full of water. When I unscrew the cap, water will start to flow out. Notice how the laser beam curves with the stream of the water and the light ends up shining wherever the stream lands on the pan. If you take a regular piece of sweet corn and heat it in the microwave, the water in the kernels will evaporate, drying out the corn. You should definitely use a better bag than I did, but eventually the kernels will start to pop straight off the cob. You've seen all three videos now, pause to vote in the comments which one you thought was fake. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison dropping a dead battery versus a full battery. As you can see, the full battery is actually less bouncy than the dead battery. It was the corn video that was fake. You can't just put regular store-bought corn in the microwave to make popcorn, but you can get popcorn on the cob like this. Next up, it's time for round two. This is a long skinny tube of copper. Copper is not ferromagnetic, so this magnet won't stick to it. However, dropping the magnet through the tube results in it falling much slower. This device is cleverly designed to allow the ball to continuously cycle. As the ball falls and is redirected, it has just enough energy to return to its original height, meaning it successfully clears the lip and can fall all over again. This mini tabletop and table bottom are only connected by a few pieces of string, but it can still support the weight of this large roll of duct tape. You've seen all three videos now, pause to vote in the comments which one you thought was fake. Did you think the Copper 2 video was fake? Well, you'd be wrong. Here's what it looks like from the top down view. The movement of the neodymium magnet falling through the tube produces eddy currents in the copper tube, which in turn produces an opposing magnetic field that acts to slow the magnet's movement. This video was fake. This device does not work on its own. It's actually battery powered, but the button is discreet. When the power is turned off, the magnetic ball does not receive the boost of energy needed to get back to the start. Next up, it's time for round three. This is an induction heater. Even though the coil is not abnormally hot and I can actually touch it, it uses alternating magnetic fields to heat any magnetic and conductive object like this fork to red hot temperatures in under 30 seconds. There's 13 nuts tied on one side and one nut on the other. If I raise the heavier side up and then let go of the side with one nut, the heavier side will actually not hit the ground. If I take a green laser pointer and shine it onto a canvas that has been coated in glow-in-the-dark paint, the laser pointer will charge the canvas and you can see the drawing when the light is turned off. You've seen all three videos now, pause to vote in the comments which one you thought was fake. The induction heater does heat objects that quickly and it's such an awesome device that I made a separate video that walks you through how to assemble it, which I'll link in the comments. It turns out this video was fake. While it is possible to charge a glow-in-the-dark canvas with the laser pointer, if you want to do so with a small handheld laser pointer, you need one that emits blue light, not green. This is the last episode in season one of Two Truths and Trash, but I'll start season two in early 2023. I'm considering adding on none of the videos were fake and multiple videos were fake options in season two to make things more challenging. So let me know in the comments if you like that idea. If you have any feedback for this series or just want to join the community, I've linked the Discord server in the description. Thanks for watching to the end and I'll see you next time.